Hi guys, so I think it's certainly safe to say that 3D printers have certainly changed this hobby in an amazing way as we can go online, there's so many 3D model makers out there and we can find what we're looking for and obviously in my case it's quite often orcs because I just love orcs um, and yeah, finding the files we want, downloading them and then just printing them off so yeah, whether it's the miniatures that you've just seen or any kind of terrain pieces really or even like these little sort of single dioramas that I've had to go out making so yeah, 3D printing is just an amazing thing to do uh, because you can just go online and get exactly what you need or in this case you can sort of make something up that you never knew you needed but uh, yeah can't live without so that's the one thing that's always put people off 3d printers and in general that's the price well I think it's safe to say now we've got this little contender um, which comes in at under a hundred dollars so at the moment guys there's a link down below give it a click because at the moment this little fella is $99 and this is the Alcade LCD light curing resin 3d printer um, and yeah, it is so diddy and small and light and as you can see, it is one of the 3D printers I can actually get on my desk which is uh, just pretty awesome but this may be small in size uh, but yeah, you'll see the miniature that I printed sort of soon and yeah, the quality is just, well, it's just amazing and I say, currently this is for $99 which is just amazing so yeah guys, link down below, give that a click and see what you think and just like most printers these days, it's nice and simple to set up, which is kind of what we want. Um, so I've been using 3D printers for the last couple of years, and I'm still a noob. I like to just get ones that you just almost like plug and play. And yeah, this, this is pretty much that. Um, turn it on, do a bit of leveling, that doesn't take you long. Um, you sort of see what you need to do here is just push a few buttons, the plate comes down. Um, it sort of goes up and down a little bit, it levels itself. And all you've got to do is tighten up the, uh, the little bolts on the side. But just to mention guys, I did speed up that last little bit of footage, uh, the plate doesn't come down quite that fast. Um, but yeah, say it is, it's that simple. And then you're straight on to pouring in the resin of your choice. I generally go with a grey, and uh, one of the main reasons for this is it shows up better when doing videos. But obviously you can use clear resin, white resin, a whole variety of different colours out there, which is pretty cool. So this one comes with a few files on it to sort of like test out. So yeah, so rather than doing my usual, which is normally orcs, I thought I'd have a go at something, doing something different. And yeah, I've used one of these sort of test prints on it. So you just slice that, which obviously is just case of pushing the button, stick it on a USB, pop it in the side, push a couple more buttons, um, yeah, and away it goes. So again, the next bit of footage is speeded up. And I think this print was, well, it was only a couple of hours really, which uh, say isn't bad. The fact that you can find whatever miniature you want, pop it in, um, and yeah, I, say, I always say this, but for me, it's like having a toy shop in your own home. The fact that you can think of what you want, go and look online. Sometimes you can find free files, which is awesome. Sometimes you have to pay a few quid, which again, is still awesome because you're obviously giving money to someone who spent their time making something. Um, and you get something that's far cheaper than, well, if you went out and sort of bought it at a shop, which is just amazing. And uh, so the other thing I really love about printers is you can print things out whatever scale size you require. Uh, which, yeah, is just awesome. And there we go, prints come out great. Um, so it's all pre-supported, uh, which is always always good because a lot of the software you get does put supports in. Uh, but yeah, generally, if you can get a model maker to sort of do their own supports, they are a lot better. So this has gone in a curing, uh, sorry, a wash station already. So it's cleaned off most of the resin, but it's still worth wearing gloves just because there's might be traces of stuff on there. Um, and as usual, putting it in the old sort of warm water, this just loosens up all the supports. Uh, but yeah, already you can sort of see just the amount of definition that is in this miniature. Um, and yeah, I say I think it's come out really, really well. Obviously, nice sort of small little teeth there. The scales look good. Uh, this dude's got nice little fingernails with, uh, well, fingernails. Um, and yeah, really, really pleased with how this has come out for, well, such a cheap printer. Um, as I say, when you get the cost of the printer and then you get the resin and everything else, the miniatures are cheap to print out, but everyone will always say it's that initial cost of buying the printer, which kind of puts people off. Uh, but yeah, I think nowadays, well, there's no need to be put off if you're spending less than $100 and you're getting yourself an awesome printer. So I'm just going to give this guy a quick little paint job, as obviously the main reason for this video is just to sh obviously show off just how good this uh, Alcade LCD light curing resin 3D printer is. Uh, it's made by a company called G-Tech. Um, they are sponsoring this video, guys. 
Uh, but obviously everything I say, well, it's down to me what I say about the Pinter. Um, but I think the sort of the, the end product here kind of, uh, well, it talks for itself. It really has come out very well. Lots of sort of small, fine definition in this dude, which is really good. Um, and yeah, it looks great. So if you click on the link down below, say it'll take you to where this printer is. But it also shows that the uh, same company, GTEC, they make the curing and the wash station. And I'll just have a look at the prices of those. And yeah, they are <laughs> they're very cheap and all, guys. So if you're looking to get the full sort of system, you are looking, well, about $300. And that will get you, say, the printer, the wash station, the curing station. Um, and yeah, that's just amazing because that's, that's still kind of less than what it would cost you for, well, just a printer. So yeah, I would highly re recommend going and checking this one out, guys. So as you can see, yeah, I'm using the uh, the little spray gun because I'm just loving how this sort of works. Um, again, I'm very new to this. I've only been using the spray gun. Uh, for, well, I think I've done about three or four possible sort of miniatures or parts sprayed them anyway. Uh, but yeah, I will be going into more detail about this uh, the spray gun I'm using. There is a link down below as well as the uh, the paints that I'm using because Army Painter have just recently sent me well, let's just say a rather large box. Um, in fact, I think the box was bigger than the uh, the printer I've just used. But again, I'm going to go into more details of those in a, a different video. Uh, this was just a nice, quick way and a fun way, because I do enjoy using this. Um, yeah, getting some paint on this lovely little snake. Uh, just to say, because it helps obviously show all the uh, the definition um, well, in all these nooks and crannies. So let me know in the comments, guys, which uh, sort of 3D printers you use. Or if you don't have one, um, has there been a reason that's sort of put you off it? And I say, I think generally in most people's cases, it is uh, the price um, or possibly even the size. Because I know some printers, if you've seen some of my recent videos, there's some rather large printers out there. But again, this small printer, um, so the fact I can get it on my desk, it is very light, does kind of mean this thing could go on a small shelf um, and you've got no worries about the thing sort of falling off or breaking the shelf. Because say, it is small and light. Um, but yeah, produces an awesome looking miniature like this one. Um, and I say the fact that there's obviously, you can see, the definition has come out really well in his teeth, his little claws. Um, and yeah, just the whole look of him. He really is quite impressive for, well, such a very cheap machine. And there we go, that's my Jade Dragon all complete. Um, I say, quick little paint job, but it just shows <laughs> just how good this little printer is. Um, yeah, I can't really say any more about that, guys. This is a lovely little printer, certainly a, a lovely one to start with, as it is nice and cheap and small. Um, but you can still obviously print out reasonably sized sort of things on this. I say, obviously, this guy took up the whole of the build plate, uh, and yeah, he fitted on there just nice. But obviously, if you want to do your sort of miniature armies, um, yeah, you definitely get plenty of them bad boys on this uh, on this thing. Okay guys, well thanks for all watching, and say so definitely click on the link and go check this out. Um, I'm not sure how long this sort of, uh, this reduced price is going for. So yeah, you want to get in there quick. So I'll say a big shout out and thank you to all my lovely patrons for helping support the channel, it really does mean a lot to me. There's another video on the screen guys, give that a click, see more of what I do. And yeah, you guys all take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.